Welcome guys. In this video, I will be teaching you how to master your gyroscope and achieve no recoil sprays. This video will go over three topics. 1. Basics of gyroscope. 2. Finding your best gyroscope sensitivity. 3. Tips and drills to master your gyroscope. Make sure you watch until the end, to properly understand today's video, and use it effectively in your gameplay. Let's get started. Before we start, you need to go to your settings and turn on gyroscope to always on. If you're a non-gyro player, trust me. And if you're a scope on gyroscope player, turn your gyroscope to always on. Now that you're all set, let's begin. Gyroscope is basically moving your crosshair by tilting your device. Like this. Gyroscope is commonly used in racing games to steer. But now, it is famously used in shooting games like PUBG. As you can see here, whenever I tilt my device my crosshair moves in the same direction at the same time. So what is the use of gyroscope? It has three main roles. First, it makes controlling your recoil easier. Why? Because rather than pulling your screen down using ABS, tilting your device backwards is easier, and more efficient. Here, I will be showing you how I control my recoil using gyroscope. By tilting my device backwards, because the recoil of your gun goes up, you counter that by tilting your device the opposite way your crosshair moves. With practice, this will pretty much eliminate your vertical recoil. Second thing is it makes pre-aiming more accurate, and quick scoping even faster. Having the feature to adjust your aim by tilting your device, makes the job easier and more effective. Third thing is it makes your reaction, and reflexes more faster. If you master your gyroscope, spray transfer, quick reaction sprays, as well as flicking will be easier. Now, let's move on to finding the best sensitivity for your gyroscope. First thing you need to do is set all your gyroscope sensitivity to 300%, except 8x. Then grab an M416 with your favorite attachments and pick up every scope, except 8x. And set your ADS sensitivity to 1%, except third and first person. Why do we need to set our ADS to 1%? Because non-gyro players, are used to swiping their screen downwards to control recoil. Doing that over time, has already developed muscle memory. But since we're practicing gyroscope, we don't want anything to interfere our recoil control. But after you get used to controlling your recoil using full gyro, you can set your ADS back to normal. To tune your gyroscope sensitivity, you will follow a minus 10 and plus 10 technique. What I mean by that, is decreasing your sensitivity by 10%, if it shakes too much. Or increasing it by 10%, if it's not strong enough. You start by tilting your device, to move your camera in TPP mode. Now, switch to FPP and do the same. This might feel a little bit shaky at first, but I highly recommend you use 300% sensitivity, for TPP and FPP no scope for faster reflexes. Now let's move on to red dot. You stand here, and start spraying at the 50 meters target while standing. Gunner, why are we spraying at a very short range? Well, this is technically for players that haven't tried gyro yet. Because you are new to this, we don't want to stress your wrists too much. Nor make you frustrated because you're having a hard time spraying in long range. If you can spray the red dot with ease, then proceed to the next. Now let's try 2x scope. 2x scope is very similar to red dot. That's why I use 300% with 2x and red dot. And I highly suggest you do the same. Moving on to 3x scope. You can use the normal 3x scope, or the 6x converted to 3x scope. Again, start spraying at the 50 meters target while standing. If it feels shaky, then decrease it by 10%. Start spraying again. If it still shakes a lot, then start decreasing until you reach the point where it is very stable for your wrist's movement. I used minus 10% and plus 10% method. And 270% works best for me. I have used this sensitivity for 3x since I started using gyroscope. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments down below if it works for you too. Now let's move on to 4x scope. 
This is by far the most unpopular scope to spray with. Because a lot of players are having trouble spraying with this scope. Because you have to pull down your device faster, compared to red dot. Again, you start off by spraying at this 50 meters target. Then start decreasing if it shakes too much. Gunner, I did the minus 10% plus 10% method, but I can't seem to figure it out cause everything still feels shaky. Here's the thing, sometimes you just gotta feel it. For example, 240% ain't enough, but 250% is too much. That's when you start improvising, and start finding your sweet spot between 240% and 250%. Add 1% by 1% until you reach your desired sensitivity. For 4x scope, 234% works best for me. Now to the final scope, which is the unconverted 6x scope. If you're a player who uses snipers, then your 4x and 6x scope will be a lot less compared to mine. But for players like me who runs double ARs, whenever I'm having a long distance gun fight, I have to spray sometimes with the unconverted 6x. 160% works best for me. I changed my gyro sensitivity for 4x and 6x. Since the new era update came. Because my previous sensitivity wasn't suitable for me anymore. Here, I have some tips and drills for you to get better in controlling recoil using gyroscope. Let's start off with tips. First tip is turning off your camera rotation while ADS. Especially if you're a claw player, and you use hold option for scoping. If you don't know what camera rotation while ADS is. It is simply being able to move your camera, while holding your scope button with a single finger. Like this, this will avoid unnecessary camera movements, whenever you're accidentally sliding the finger that you use to hold the scope. Second tip is, setting your frame rate to the highest option your device provides. The higher the frame rate, the smoother your gameplay is and the easier you can control recoil. Third tip is crouching and proning. We all know, that crouching reduces almost 30% of your recoil and proning reduces almost 50% of your recoil. But this is very situational, you can't just prone anywhere and spray. Nor crouch, cause sometimes objects or ridges might block your view. But still, take advantage of crouching and proning whenever you can. Now let's move on to the drills that I personally use to develop my skills. I have 4 main drills that I do daily before I start playing TDMs or classic matches. First drill is the standard training which is a new feature in the new era training grounds. Do this drill for all the scopes and choose the difficulty level 1 only. Again, you're warming up. Don't stress yourself too much. This will help you to get more used to your gyroscope sensitivity, and make your sprays more accurate. Second drill is the car spray drill. To do this, you just have to stand here and spray at these targets from left to right, while maintaining your aim at head level. What this does, is it helps you spray down moving vehicles. You do this by tilting your device from left to right or vice versa. While tilting it backwards. Third drill is the reaction spray drill. To do this, you just have to shoot these targets by scoping in and out every time you switch targets. Here's an example. This one is a bit more complex. But once you get this going, you'll be able to fight a full squad rushing at you easily. Fourth and final drill is spray transfer. You can do this, by continuously spraying while switching targets. Like this. You can get creative on this one. You can do one after the other. Skipping one. Going back and forth. Spraying on two targets. Or three. It's really up to you. You should also do this drill while hip firing. Use gyroscope to switch targets. What this does, is helping you to estimate how much you need to tilt your phone when switching targets. With a lot of time and practice, you will develop muscle memory. Then flicking, as well as spraying down enemies close to each other, would be very easy. And lastly, before I play a classic match, I will play at least 5 TDM matches. TDM matches helps me to be prepared in close range fights, as it gives me the intensity I need, to properly warm up. That's all I got for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and leave a like if you learned something from this video. And comment down below what video you'd like me to do next. Hope you enjoy my gameplay.
That wraps up this video guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I would like to inform you that I would be doing an RP giveaway to one lucky subscriber by the time I reach 500 subs. And it is really simple to join, you just have to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, link in the description below. Always remember it's a battle royale. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Keep playing PUBG, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Peace out guys.